All right, what's going on, everybody? So, Shikamori's Not Just a Cutie is one of the most popular new shows airing this season. While it's no match for Kaguya-sama, it is shaping up to be quite the unique rom-com series that, to be honest, I'm not entirely sold on yet. The series is centered on the daily lives of a couple going into their second year of high school. A cute popular girl named Michan Shikamori and her clumsy boyfriend, Yu Izumi, who has really bad luck. I've seen people online compare this show to Horimiya in that it's wholesome, but unlike most rom-coms, the relationship here is already established. So far, this series has just focused on the couple hanging out, either alone or with friends, and exploring the dynamic of their relationship. Each episode is moved along like a well-oiled machine, and the magnificent production from Dagakubo Studio will likely get your attention. They've created an anime that is as gorgeous as its female lead. The animation in general is smooth with the opening sequence featuring some beautiful visuals accompanied by a fantastic song that seems like it belongs in an anime from a different genre. The studio also got creative with the ending sequence which plays out like a video game showing Shikamori protecting Izumi from various hazards as they move toward their destination. Production aside, the characters are mostly likable and the voice acting for the English dub is good. As you might expect, Shikamori is the best character in the show. She's usually nice and considerate but can often become jealous or irritable depending on the situation. In addition to being pretty, she's also very athletic. Shikamori is basically written to be the perfect girlfriend in which most guys are envious of Izumi's relationship with her. Speaking of Izumi, this character and the dynamic of his relationship with Shikamori is my biggest gripe with this show. Prior to the start of this season, I watched the trailers for this anime and was immediately turned off by how Izumi has to be protected by his girlfriend. Despite my initial reservations about that aspect of the show, I still decided to give it a chance. While I can appreciate the fact that the manga author Keigo Maki has written an unconventional relationship, it's one that I can't totally get invested in as a viewer. Maki essentially flips the traditional roles of a relationship. Generally speaking, the man is usually the strong, dependable protector that takes the lead. However, in this case, Shikamori is the overprotective, powerful, assertive one out of the pair. She is basically the one that takes charge, with Izumi barely being assertive outside of one scene in the third episode when they're at the movie theater. I totally understand why someone wouldn't like this character for being so clumsy, weak, and incompetent. He's constantly being unintentionally emasculated by his own girlfriend. Due to Izumi's supernatural level of bad luck, Shikamori has to frequently safeguard him from harm. While there are moments where Shikamori saves him that are undeniably cool, it just serves to lessen my opinion of Izumi even more. The way that she saves him at the end of the first episode almost has me convinced that she has superpowers or something. The fact that she stopped Izumi mid-sentence after she kicked the falling sign is suspicious. That's most likely not the case, but it would explain her extraordinary awareness and athleticism. Then it would also make sense that Izumi might be cursed with bad luck or something. Then again, I'm probably just thinking too much about those things. Anyway, back to my point, Izumi sucks. If it wasn't for Shikamori, he would have been izakai a long time ago. This character is so oblivious and clumsy, he needs to be wearing a helmet, shoulder, and knee pads at all times. He is not only a danger to himself, but to others, as his misfortune affects those around him. And yet, Shikamori is still willing to stick by him. There is a great scene in episode 3 where she tells Izumi's mother why she admires him and sees him as strong despite his misfortune. I like her dialogue in that scene, specifically when she's talking about Izumi's oblivious altruism. She basically thinks that enduring pain and misfortune daily has molded him into a kind and caring person. While that might be true, it's hard for me as a viewer to root for this lame, helpless, frail guy who has to be comforted by his girlfriend during a scary movie. I just don't like how he's written as the only thing he can do is support her from the sidelines. He brings nothing to the relationship other than being compassionate and nice. I just wish the author would have wrote him with more redeeming, more masculine qualities. Aside from Izumi, I like the rest of the cast, mainly Shikamori's friends, Kiyo Nikozaki and Yui Hachimitsu. Nikozaki is much more lively than Hachimitsu, who doesn't seem as talkative as the other characters, but has a couple funny lines. These characters haven't been fleshed out yet, but at least they have distinct personalities and there have been a few humorous interactions that got a quick laugh out of me. I think the comedy in the first episode worked better for me after re-watching it in English. 
Molly Zhang is perfect as Yui, who speaks with a dry, low tone. Clever Chapin was such predictable casting as Izumi's friend, Shu Inisuka. I figured he'd get the role given that he voices Katsuki Bakugo from My Hero Academia, a character that has a similar hairstyle to Shu. His casting is kind of a nod to the fact that Bakugo was originally supposed to be very kind, friendly, and even supportive of the protagonist, Izuku Midoriya. To my surprise, he doesn't sound like he's doing a toned down version of that character. While the rest of the cast gave solid performances for the premiere, Chapin and Zing were the ones that stood out to me. To conclude, while I found this show to be entertaining and visually appealing, Izumi and his relationship with Shikamori isn't going to work for some people out there. And since that is a big part of this show, I couldn't recommend it as it is right now unless you don't mind such a lopsided relationship. For me, the slice of life and comedy elements work much better than the romance stuff. If you've seen this show, let me know what you guys thought about it in the comment section below. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'm out of here. Peace.